Yes. Dude, that is sick. I saw you coming from a mile away and was like, what is going on? I was like, is he on a hydrofoil? Thanks for tuning in today. I got a new fishing reel and I wanted to share the unboxing with you guys. I decided to spring for the new Shimano SLX DC 150 HG 7.2 to 1 gear ratio. So what we're going to do is we're going to crack into this box right here. We're going to take a look at the reel. I'm actually going to take this Lose American Hero off of this 7.6 Heavy Defender rod from Favorite and I'm going to replace it with the new SLX DC. Another thing that I'm going to do. This is brand new fluorocarbon that I just put on this reel like two days ago, I think. 20 pound Seaguar fluorocarbon. I don't want to let it go to waste. So what I'm gonna do is take all the fluoro off of this reel and put it onto this reel. And I'm gonna show you guys a really easy way how to do that without having to run a backing. If you've watched any of my reel spooling videos in the past, I've showed you guys how to run a monofilament backing to keep your braid or your fluorocarbon from spinning on the reel. Today, we're gonna use the old electrical tape trick. I'm sure some of you guys know all about it, but it works just as well. And I'm gonna show you guys a really easy, quick way to spool up braid or fluorocarbon on a new reel and get that bite and keep your line from spinning on the reel. It's a crucial step. You always need to make sure you either, one, run a monofilament backing because mono won't spin like braid or fluorocarbon, or you need to throw some electrical tape on your new reel. One of those two things, if you don't do that and you hook into a monster, I assure you, you will end up regretting it because I have made the mistake and not run a backing before with braid or fluoro and I've ended up hooking into a fish and had my line start spinning around my spool and I actually ended up losing that fish because I didn't take the proper steps when I was spooling up my line onto my reel. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do that today, but right now I know you guys wanna see the reel, so let's crack into the box. This is how she comes, man. So let's crack into this thing. So this is the SLX from Shimano with the DC reel technology in it. If you guys haven't heard about it, the Shimano came out with the SLX reels not too long ago. The SLX combo, they have a rod that matches up with it and I seriously considered getting one. But as soon as I saw that they were coming out with a DC version of the SLX, I decided to hold off and wait. I stacked my Dick's Cash, stacked my rewards cards, and I was able to get this for a steal. 140 bucks, new Shimano reel. Super stoked to add another Shimano to the arsenal. And there she is, man. That's a beautiful looking reel. I love the blue lettering on the side. Low profile, feels smooth as ever. If you really torque on it, yeah, you can hear the, hear the DC in there. Buttery smooth, Shimano, nice. 7.2 to one gear ratio. This is the SLX DC 150 HG from Shimano. I love the black and blue coloring. Looks a lot like this American hero that I'm about to take off of here. Guarantee you, this is gonna be a much nicer reel. So I'm stoked to get this thing on this rod. Straight out of the package. Looks pretty nice. As always, you get a little real oil with Shimano, paperwork. Throw the receipt back in the box along with the bubble wrap. All right, now let's get to taking this fluorocarbon off of this Lose American Hero reel and throwing it onto the new Shimano SLX. DC. Nice. First things first, let's go ahead and pop this reel off of this rod. Like that. Looking pretty crispy. All right, now like I was talking about earlier, I'm gonna take this fluorocarbon off of this reel and I'm gonna put it onto this reel, but I don't want it spinning on the spool, so. That's where our electrical tape is gonna come into play. Some people might not like the idea of putting a piece of electrical tape on a brand new fishing reel. And that is why in the past I have decided to run monofilament backings because I felt that same way before. You know, like, man, this is a brand new reel. I don't wanna put tape on this, I just got it. For the purposes of this video and for today, I'm gonna use the electrical tape method. It seems to work just the same as running a monofilament backing. I know plenty of other fishermen that do it this way and it never seems to be a problem. So I'm gonna use the old electrical tape method, show you guys how to do that now. You just stick that on the spool and make sure it goes around completely. 
you know, one good time. Covers the spool practically. I'm gonna put that right in the middle. It doesn't have to cover the entire spool. You just need enough patch for that fluoro to start digging in. So now that I have the electrical tape stuck on the reel like that, what I'll do is I'll take my thumb and I'll mash it on there and then I'll just start reeling real slow. Tighten your drag down. That drag is loose. So now I'm just reeling and it's just slowly pushing that electrical tape around the spool evenly. Like that right there. So as you guys can see, now I've got the strip of electrical tape wrapped around my spool and it's pretty much blow and go from here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna thread the fluorocarbon back down through all of my line guides, back through the line guide on the reel. I'm gonna tie a San Diego jam knot and that electrical tape is gonna give this fluorocarbon something to bite into keep it from spinning. So this is a super helpful tip that I didn't always do back in the day when I was re-spooling reels. I didn't always thread the line through the line guides back down toward the reel. And then I, I would just put line on reels with the reel off the rod entirely. And then I can't remember where, somewhere along the way, I was watching some fishing show. That's how we used to have to watch fishing back when I was a kid. There was no YouTube. We had to get up and watch fishing shows on, what was it, TNT? TNN, on TNN, yeah. TNN Outdoors, maybe like Bill Dance and Roland Martin, Jimmy Houston, Babe Winkleman, all those guys. And those were the fishing shows that we watched. And I remember sometime, somewhere, I saw one of them doing it this way and running the line back down through the line guides before they spooled it onto their reel. And I was like, oh, that makes sense, man. I should start doing that. Here we are, years later, and I'm still doing it this way. So. I've got the fluorocarbon ran down through my line guides. Gonna go uh, down through here, then back up and around. Get ready to tie my San Diego jam knot. Some of you guys have seen me spool up uh, bait casters before. I've actually done videos on this in the past. I apologize for the repeat subject, but believe it or not, I've had a lot of people ask me, hey, how do you do this since I made the last video? So I'm making another one, show you guys just another way, another option running straight fluorocarbon on this. Normally you guys will see me run a braid to a fluorocarbon leader. I'm gonna set this reel up with straight 20 pound fluorocarbon and we're just gonna rip. All right, so now that I have my line thread through the line guides, back down through the line guide on the reel and then wrapped around the spool, I'm gonna tie a San Diego jam knot. Some of you guys may know how to tie that knot. If you don't, look it up. There's plenty of videos out there on YouTube to teach you how to tie these knots that I reference in my videos. I'm not the best when it comes to teaching people how to tie fishing knots, so I just let you guys go learn those on your own. But if you're interested in knowing the knot that I'm using, it's gonna be a San Diego jam knot right here. Pretty easy to tie up, back down, wrap it around, under and through. You get it. You guys can kind of watch me tie it here. All right, now that I've got my completed San Diego jam knot tied around my spool here, over the electrical tape, cinched down really tight, the only thing left to do is to just reel this line all the way on until we get our spool filled up. I've got my spool tension on this other reel tightened way down, and I've got my rod hoisted way up in the air, keeping tension on that reel. I'm also keeping tension on it with my thumb over here, a little bit with my fingers right here in front of the reel. I can feel that I've got enough tension to just sit here and spool this up using this method. So I'm gonna keep it rolling. She's running on there tight. But you want that line going on your reel tight. You don't want a lot of slack, a lot of space in there, especially with new fluorocarbon guys. This line will be finicky those first couple casts. So you want it spooled on properly tight and you want your reel adjusted the right way when you go to make that first cast because man, if you go and make that first one and backlash the whole spool of fluorocarbon, you don't have a time standing down there by the lake picking that backlash out. Ask me how I know. I've learned my lesson many times. Another tip that I want to give you guys in regards to filling up your spool with line is to fill your spools all the way up with line. And don't fill them up halfway or anything like that. If there's not a lot of line on your reel, it simply won't work the same. It'll take more revolutions of the handle to take up as much of your line as you would if you normally had it spooled up all the way. If you don't have it spooled up all the way, gonna have a bad time. But anyways, a little off topic there. I wanna try to keep it simple, but I do wanna give you guys that tip. Put your line on there tight and don't underfill your spool. Try to fill it all the way up to where they intended. That way you get the maximum efficiency out of your reel. Now, as you guys can see here, I have this fluorocarbon spooled all the way up on this SLX, rigged up on the Defender rod, new line, ready to go. So there's that. Now all I have to do is tie on whatever bait I wanna use. We should be ready to go. I'm excited to get out there and see if we can catch some fish. Nice. All right, guys. I'm out here first time on the water with the new Shimano SLX DC 
and we're gonna make our first cast around with this thing, see if we can get a fish on it. Saw the unboxing earlier in the video. Now we're out here on the water. Got this thing rigged up on the favorite Defender 7.6 heavy rod. Got a swim jig tied on, 20 pound fluorocarbon. We're running it on setting three, which is the fluorocarbon setting on the DC reels. For those of you who don't know how the DC reels work, it has a microcomputer inside the reel that measures spool speed every nanosecond. That's 1,000 times every second. So way faster than your human brain can ever interpret the spool speed with your thumb. This microcomputer inside the reel will measure the spool speed and adjust and apply braking accordingly depending on how you have it set here on the side now it has settings one through four on the side as you can see i'm running it on setting three like i said that is the fluorocarbon setting setting number one is going to be your open setting which means the least amount of braking it's going to function more like a traditional bait casting reel when it's on setting one you're still going to have to use your thumb i've had people message me and ask me why their dc reels are backlashing when they're running it on one when they don't thumb it and that's because that is the least amount of braking applied the computer is not going to be punching the brakes like it is going to be on settings two through four so just keep that in mind if you have a dc reel and you're running it on setting one you still need to be using your thumb more so like a traditional bait caster dc braking technology and capabilities really apply to settings two through four number four being your most brakes number four is going to be your high wind setting your skipping setting anytime you have the high potential for backlash that's when you're going to run setting four i'm going to be honest with you guys i practically never put it on setting four i'm always on settings two or three either braid or fluorocarbon and that's that's how it is so i've got it on three fluorocarbon setting i'm not even really going to adjust the the spool tension that much i'm just gonna yep, that feels good to me it's loose the bait falls uh free falls just as normal i could probably even loosen it up a little bit but i'm gonna go ahead and make a cast with this thing see how the brakes work see how she casts compared to the shimano Corrado dc i have three of those dc reels here's a look at one of those guys right here that's what i've been fishing with this morning throwing the fluke around trying to get a fish no bites yet but we're out here today to show you guys the uh the capabilities of the slx dc and compare it to the Corrado a little bit and see how we like it and yeah just go from there little first impression vid little first time on the water with the new reel you guys saw the unboxing now let's see how she fishes pretty good I hooked her out there pretty good kind of wanted to start maybe having a little bit of overrun and then the DC brakes just pulled it right out no issue so that's cool let's make a few casts with this thing nice got that signature dc whine everybody always leaves me comments saying they love the way the the dc reel sounds when i cast it that's nice nice no backlash so far guys running it on setting three i haven't adjusted the uh spool tension really at all just kind of eyeballed it and said it looked good fired it off i'm gonna go ahead and loosen it a little bit and see what happens and then if i need to i'll tighten it from there hopefully we can run her just a little bit looser everything will be cool oh yeah we're in the butter zone now. Yeah, you don't have to crank these uh, spool tension knobs down too tight for the DC brakes to work in these reels, man. A lot of people think you really have to have that tension knob torqued down. It's not true, man. I run all my reels pretty loose when on my DC setups anyway. I'm not the best fisherman, and I'm not the most skilled when it comes to using a bait caster when the brakes are totally off and it's totally loose. But I can get it done. Yeah, fishing has been tough. If you guys saw my previous video, you saw me out here grinding in the summertime. Fished all day to get those four small fish and it 100 plus degree heat and it was a grind. I did want to get out here on the water for a little bit and use this new reel, do this little first impressions video for you guys. Instead of just doing the unboxing, I figured it would be cool to include a little, a little fishing footage and a little casting footage with the new reel in this same video. So we just, we just busted from the bedroom to the from the bedroom to the bedrock and here we are we're out here but there's no fish over here so i'm about to pick up make a run to another location we'll keep fishing this slx dc throughout the day see how she does for us i'll keep you guys updated but so far so good man dc brakes work I'm running her loose on setting number three with fluorocarbon chunking it out there pretty much not even thumbing it at all and you see it you see how it works man wouldn't it be dope to catch a fish right there just boom, boom, boom.
come up here in the shade. Let's do something a little bit different. Let's do something a little bit different. We tried fishing the swim jig with it. Let's throw a more traditional style jig. Or maybe we could, oh no, I got an even better idea. You know what let's do? Let's do a good old TR. Good old fashioned trusty TR. I'm gonna go heavy. Half ounce tungsten. That might get hung up. Let's go with this uh, quarter ounce four aught. We'll peg it. These little things are called pegs. You just slide them on the line like that. Throw your bullet weight on behind them. And then tie your hook on. Like so. You slide that peg back down. Boom. There you go. She won't move. She won't slide. I'm thinking uh, it's going to be Senko time. Because the bite's tough. And when the bite gets tough, you can throw a Senko. Let's see. Green pumpkin. I think this is an actual Yamamoto. Yama Senko. Right here. TR the Senko. That's what I'm going to throw right there. What do you guys think? I think that'll get one. We're up in the rocks, boys. You can see it drops off right here, pretty deep. So my idea is gonna be just to throw it up into these holes and then roll her back on out into the, into the deep. Let's see what happens if I go this way. Now I'm gonna go a little bit ways out here. Just drag her on out into the deep ski. See if we can get a Senko bite on the new DC here. There we go. Oh, that's a tree. There we go. Senko came off somehow, but seemed to be good to go. Hook doesn't seem to be bent. Still sharp. I wonder if I had a bite there and if he took me into a tree. Hmm. Yep. Yeah. New SLX DC feels good, man. Feeling good in the hand. Casting nice. Reeling smooth. The only thing left to do now is catch a fish on it and see how she handles. Make sure that drag is set. Yeah. Feels like it casts just pretty much just as nice as my other DC reels, my other Shimano's. There we go. On the Senko. Come on, buddy. Come up here to me. And he got a he got a he got to eat it. That guy got to eat it. Dude. First fish on the new SLX DC, fishing the Senko out here on this wall. My homie's up here building the house, and we got ourselves a fish, boys. First one on the day. Makes me happy, man. It's not a big one by any means, but stoked to get that fish right there, man. Best believe. All right, guys, there he is. First fish of the day. First fish on the SLX DC, making it official out here on the water today. Hope you guys are enjoying the video. Make sure and throw me a sub if you are. Made my day to come out here and get this one on the Senko. I'm gonna go ahead and put him back in the water, see if we can get another one. The new SLX DC gets it done. Let's put this guy back in the water. Good stuff, man. Go ahead and get re-rigged. See if he's got a friend down there. Just TR and old Yamasenko here, man. Green pumpkin on a 4 aught EWG from Gamakatsu. My favorite hook. Skin hooking it or text posing it. Got that weight pegged like I showed you guys earlier. Go ahead and check that line. Make sure that fluoro's not nicked up. Feels pretty good. All right. Let's get back out there. First fish of the day. Got your boy stoked. First fish ever on the new Shimano SLX DC reel. Sweet. Getting him to eat a Senko. I know he got to have a big friend hanging out down there. I know it. I feel it. I can feel it. Can you feel it? I feel it. Believe it. Does anybody remember that? Uh, I don't know if it was like a 
AFC or NFC, whichever championship game or nice. Or if it was a Super Bowl or something, but Ray Lewis running around on the sidelines talking about believe it, believe it. That shit was funny. Believe it. Oh, there we go. Another one. Nice fish number two, baby, on the Senko. Fish number two on the SLX DC as well. It's a little bit nicer fish. Come up here, buddy. <laughs> How about that? Fat little fish. Two in a row on the Senko. That dude ate it too. Boom, I'm gonna need my tool for this guy. All right. Got the hook out of him. There's a look at the fish. He's bleeding a little bit, so I'm gonna go ahead and toss him back in the water later, dude. And he's gone. Perfectly fine. A bunch of new traffic on the channel from the Dodo. Shout outs to everybody who found me from the Dodo. Much love. I appreciate you guys coming over here and uh, stopping by the channel. Showing some support with a subscription. I appreciate that, man. That's awesome. That's two really fast in a row there on the Cinco. So I'm going to rig up another one while I'm talking to you. As is inevitable with the internet, when you have something go viral like that Dodo video did, over 5 million, almost 6 million views now on that video that the Dodo made about your boy. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. Go follow the Dodo on Instagram. Check them out on Facebook. See their piece that they did on me when I saved the baby deer. They did a really good job with their video. It turned out amazing. It's a real tearjerker. So uh, if you guys are into that kind of stuff, good animal rescue stories, go ahead and check out that video on the Dodo. But yeah, a lot of traffic been coming my way because of that. And inevitably, you know, have had some people show up that don't really understand the whole fishing thing, accusing me of like killing the fish and all kinds of crazy stuff, man. That just isn't true. So, um, yeah, for those of you that don't know, I safely catch and release every fish that I, that I, uh, every, every fish that I catch is safely released. That's it, man. I don't, I don't eat these fish. I don't kill these fish. They all go right back in the water. As you can see that last fish, man, as soon as I got the hook out of them back in the water yes i do hook the fish in the mouth it is what it is fishing is a huge part of humanity and if you don't like that then this just probably isn't the place for you but yeah anyways i love the fish and i love all animals let's keep fishing man see if we can get another one out here fishing the senko on the new slx dc two in the boat two fish makes a video spoiling you guys you got an unboxing vid you got tips on how to spool up your new bait caster without running a monofilament backing the old e-tape method you got my uh first impressions the first cast with the slx dc little swim jig fishing and then heck we even got out here and caught a couple fish on a senko that's a uh, first fish that i've caught this year on senko that's actually the first time that i've even tried fishing this bait this year i think but uh yeah first senko fish in 2019 it's been tough to get them to eat lately so uh yeah it feels good to get those couple fish in the boat there back to back you know almost back to back cast i think that was two fish and three casts that's nice nice you guys are getting all kinds of content in this video speaking of getting all kinds of content in this video i'm gonna i'm gonna amp it up another level just because i love you and i want you guys to uh, get the most out of these videos when you click on me in the name of sharing as much as i possibly can in a single video with you guys i'm gonna cut to some footage from the other day when i was out here fishing and i only caught one fish but i do want to include that fish catch and this footage and something else really cool happened while i was out there on the lake fishing that day i saw a dude on a hydrofoil an electronic hydrofoil at that if you guys don't know what a hydrofoil is it's like a, a surfboard and it has a big wing that sticks down off the bottom of it into the water and when that when that wing and that rudder travels through the water it creates lift on the surfboard so you can stand on top of the surfboard and pretty much you just zoom across the top of the water Hard to explain. Anyways, you guys will see. I saw a dude out on an electric hydrofoil and he just came ripping across the top of the lake like E-Jesus and it was crazy and I got him to stop and talk to me. So I want, I want you guys to check out that footage, man. I'm gonna cut some of that now and I'll see you guys back here on the boat.
Nice fish. Nice fish. Oh, that's a nice fish right there. A couple pounds. Pound at least. Chill out, bro. Look at that. Boom. That's a keeper. Oh, yeah. It's 14 all day. Nice. 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 That's a good catch right there. Dude, what is this person riding? Dude, no way. They're on one of those stand-up hydrofoils. Look at that, dude. Check him out. He's hydrofoiling. Dude. That is awesome. Can you guys see that, dude? He's just hydrofoiling on an electric hydrofoil. He's just standing on a surfboard. Dude, look at him. Just straight foiling. Bro! Come over here, bro. Yeah. Yes. Dude, that is sick. I saw you coming from a mile away and was like, what is going on? I was like, is he on a hydrofoil? That is awesome, dude. Yeah, it's an electric yeah, I can hear it, dude. That is sick. <laughs> right on, man. I was like, man, I gotta holler at this dude, get him to do a, do a pass over here, man. I you... actually do lessons on him. Oh yeah? yeah. That's cool, man. Yeah. My name's Justin. Paul. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Paul. Catching yeah. anything? Yeah, I caught, I caught one so far today. One all right one. That's it's, cool. it's been tough out here. I've actually heard of some guys uh, going fishing on these things. Yeah, I bet that would be cool, man. I'll fish off of anything. Yeah, man, that's neat, dude. Yeah, I just wanted to see if you'd come rip over here so I could get a better look at it, man. No problem. Yeah, dude. Justin Royal is my name. What's the last name again? Royal. Royal? Yes, okay. sir, yeah. All right, and I'm under Unhooked Sports. Unhooked Sports. Man, I'll check you out, definitely, dude. It's good to meet you and talk to you, man. That is awesome, dude. Yeah, I don't mean to keep you from having too much fun, man. I just had to holler. No, I couldn't couldn't problem. resist, man. No, it's a, it's, a, it's a fascinating toy. I, that's how I got into it. I saw a guy riding, and I was like, how the hell? Dude, yeah, I got to get on one of those. That is too neat, brother. All right, man, have fun ripping out there. Be safe. Have a good one. Later, brother. That is too cool. Dude. And he's off, dude. Off to the races. And he's up. And he's surfing. Dude, that is cool. All right, man. Hope you guys enjoyed that little clip there from the other day. I was able to get that one nice large mouth in the boat and then see that dude out there ripping the hydrofoil. So I thought that was awesome. I mean, I saw him coming from all the way across the lake and I just couldn't hear anything. And I could just see a dude standing up coming, coming across the lake. Oh, he came off. Dang, he came off. We had another bite there, guys. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that Shimano Corrado SLX unboxing and first impressions video. Even able to come out here and get a couple fish on it for the first time. Shout outs to the Cinco for getting it done. Shout outs to, uh, shout outs to everybody, man. Shout outs to all the people from the Dodo. Shout outs to the dude on the Hydro Foil, man. It was nice to meet you if you're watching. Shout outs to the new Shimano SLX DC Reel out here getting it done. If you're interested in seeing more about me, my boat Beetlejuice here, out here on Lake Travis, bass fishing in Texas, go ahead and sub the channel. If you're interested in finding out more about the uh, SLX DC Reel, I'll throw a link down below in the description show you guys where you can pick one up for yourself thank you guys for tuning in man i hope you enjoyed it i'll see you on the next one